Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. So today we will see as I told you weighted arithmetic mean. Very easy, 5 minutes just focus, you will understand everything. Now we know that uh, there is a limitation in arithmetic mean. What was the limitation we have discussed on the very first day of our class? The main limitation is that arithmetic mean is giving importance to all the values equally. Sometimes some, some values are important and its weightage is much but we never used to give that. That was the limitation in arithmetic mean, simple arithmetic mean or average. Now to overcome that we are going for the weighted arithmetic mean. Weighted arithmetic means, means simple we are giving weight to the each and every value. Through an example you can understand easily. We are giving weight to the values. So suppose say uh, one value is having lots of weight. Weight in the sense uh, its importance. Another value is not much up to that level. Then we will give less weight. Like we will be giving the weight to each and every every number whatever is given and according to that we can calculate weighted arithmetic mean ok. Now this through a problem you can understand weighted arithmetic mean mainly you have to understand the formula x bar means you know arithmetic mean x bar w means weighted arithmetic mean x bar w weighted arithmetic mean formula is here sigma w x by sigma w sigma wx by sigma w this is the formula ok. Now problem is given to us calculate weighted arithmetic mean. What is given to us x values are given and for each and x for each and every value of x weight is also given. So weight is also given ok. Now we have to calculate the weighted arithmetic mean. What is the formula? x bar w is equal to sigma wx by sigma w so means we need wx. So we will calculate that what do we now need wx and also sigma w means what is the total of this? This is 7, mm, 17 plus uh, 17, 27, 28, 29, 30, 30. N is, this is sigma W, no? So, sigma W is 30. Earlier generally we used to get the frequency, no? this was the frequency, but now here we, we, we got weights. Sigma W you got, now we need sigma WX. First we will calculate WX, then after that we will get sigma WX. Uh, Wx means 10 to the 20, 12 5 is a 60, 12 into 15, let me use the calculator 15 into 12, 180. I am a little bit weak in calculations <laughs> and uh, 18 into 4. 72, 20 into 7, 140. So, if I calculate the total, 20 plus 80 with here 200, 260, 260 plus 72 plus 140, 472. This is sigma wx. We can show it through a table, this one we will draw a table that would be more neat and clean. It looks much professional also. I am not using here scale but you have to use a scale and pencil to draw this table. Okay? So we know the values, what we have to do just simply write the formula x bar w is equal to sigma wx by sigma w, x bar w, sigma wx is you know 472, 472 by 30, if you calculate it divided by 30, you will get 15.73. This 
uh, weighted arithmetic mean 15.73 represents that we have given some values to the each and every number then according to that we got weighted arithmetic mean am I clear. So, uh, if you understood mean arithmetic mean is completed totally in the next class we will focus on the median ok. Stay connected. Uh, there are many subjects which already covered check out the playlist everything is free of cost. So, use it and share this and have a bright career. Good luck.